I've probably missed 20 fish this morning. There we go. Uh, uh. Yeah, uh, they're definitely active. They're definitely biting. My slow reflexes is not helping that. There. I don't know what I'm doing wrong this morning. That's definitely angler error. I'm becoming the world's greatest long distance catch and release artist out here this morning. We've hooked into another one here. Let's see if we can land it. Oh. Uh, there's another one. I'm racking up the misses here. Uh, keep missing these fish. Uh, that is frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Hey, welcome back to the channel. This week I got an opportunity to travel up to Heber Springs, Arkansas. My parents live up there and I got to fish for some trout. Did a little fly fishing in the Little Red River there in Heber Springs. I hooked a lot of fish, caught quite a few, had a great time. If you're not familiar with the Heber Springs area, you really should check it out. Uh, the Little Red River is a world-class uh, trout stream. Generation has been kind of on a schedule. The core has not really been able to release a ton of water right now because of all the flooding downstream in the Arkansas River and uh, the Mississippi River. But as soon as all that water clears out, they're probably going to have to open the floodgates. I think Gris Ferry is 10 or 12 feet above normal pools so I wanted to try to take advantage while the water was low and get in there and do a little fly fishing. Core has been kind of generating on some what of a schedule turning on around 10 or 9 or 10 in the morning and then turning off around 9 or 10 at night and so that allows for wade fishing up at the dam the water drops out pretty quick so I was able to get in there and fish for about three hours or so. The weather was great it was probably in the 50s that morning highs in the 80s all last week so I wanted to share this video with you and let's uh, take a look at it. There we go. Nice little rainbow to start the morning. Let that dude go. Another nice little rainbow. There we 
go. Keep him on. Had a good morning. I was going to fish another spot on the river if they started. Gen they're probably going to start generating around nine or ten. I don't even know what time it is. Um, but I've had such a good morning here. I think I'm probably done for the day. If I can land a few more. I'm I will have had a very, very good day here on the little Red River in Heber Springs. If you're looking for a place to come trout fish, this is world-class trout river. Um, good, good place to bring the kids, plenty of, especially here at the dam site, uh, plenty of places for the kids to fish off the bank with um, Spin and tackle or Zipco 33, get you a can of corn or um, trout magnets, something they can cast out and reel in, and, and they'll be set. Really, really a great place to come. Plenty of campsites here. There's a hatchery so they can see where the fish are actually raised. And Heber Springs is a great town. Just on the other side of the dam is Grish Ferry Lake. Plenty of camping over there if you're a boater or jet ski, great bass fishing. Um, you, you can't beat this area for, for outdoor stuff. All right. Let's see if we can keep this one on. Not as big a fish as I thought it was. Still a pretty rainbow. There's one. Not that big now, buddy. Come on. Let's get your head up. Get your head up. There we go. That's a little football right there. And that sound right there is the sound that they are going to start generating. So we are reeling up and heading out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me this morning. I was going to hit a couple of other spots. My plan was when they started generating, kind of had an idea when that was going to happen um, based on the Corps of Engineers app that they have. Uh, I've had such a great morning. I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go grab some breakfast at a local restaurant here that I like and um, then head back up to my parents' house and load the kayak. I, you know, I hooked several fish, as you saw, lost a lot, most majority of them, but I landed several. One decent fish out of the bunch, I would say. Um, it was a good morning. Uh, I got what I came for, basically. So I'm going to go grab something to eat, head back to my parents' house and load up the kayak. I left it there this morning from, um, from fishing last night. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments below. Um, any questions or comments about the Little Red River here in Heber Springs, places you can walk in, places you can launch a boat, um, places to stay, drop them in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. My parents live up here. There's a limited number of places to stay. If you're going to camp, you can camp at uh, dam site here they have campgrounds or campsites that are actually tent and RV campsites that are actually on the river and then um, there's a couple of hotels that you can stay in while you're up here 
Um, fishing's great. I think I said this while I was out there um, fishing. But if you know if you want to introduce a kid to fishing or trout fishing in general, dam site's a great place to bring them. There's tons of bank space. Um, you know, you can line the and you can catch fish. You know, you you can certainly catch the kids can certainly catch fish up here off the bank. Uh, they even have a, a new fishing pier that's new within the last couple of years. Uh, but a great place to bring bring family or bring kids and uh, introduce them to trout fishing. If you want to see future videos, as always, hit the subscribe button. And I said this last time, if you are just not getting enough notifications in your life. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Oh, shout out to my dad, Donnie. I walked out of the house yesterday and drove up here without any fly boxes. And so he was kind enough. God's graced me with the gentleman that loves to tie, tie flies. And that's my dad. And he was uh, kind enough to loan me two boxes this morning. I caught, I'm pretty sure I caught a trout on every fly that I tied on. I only tied on three. I think I only used three different flies this morning. Uh, two sow bugs and then a uh, emerger. So uh, if you have any questions about those, let me know. I will direct them to him as he is the expert in the family on, on uh, tying flies. And Or if you have any questions in general about trout fishing or the Heber Springs, Arkansas area, um, please let me know and I'll do my best to get you the information. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.